Hey guys, Mistmaster1 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. So last time, we finished up Twilight Town after visiting it for the first time. Vexen was actually taken down by us and then eliminated by Axel when he showed up afterwards, so that was kind of a disturbing thing to see that people from the same group can just terminate others without really giving that much of a fuck, honestly, seeing as how we just killed him like cold blood. But anyway, off screen, I'm just gonna... Make note of this, I actually found another key to rewards card, so we're set for f for the next floor once we get there. Um, for my deck, I got, since we upgraded to 850 CP, I just added a few more cards, replaced my elixir card with a 4 elixir card instead of a 1, just because it's more likely to not get broken and stuff like that. And, well, we're just gonna move on to the exit hall of this, and let's watch again for more important cutscenes. work. I say good riddance to that blabbermouth. Marluxia, you used Vexen to test Sora's strength, didn't you? Not just Sora's, it was yours too. We weren't sure if you actually had it in your bones to take out a fellow member. Well, I guess that you did. It's time to join up. Taking over the organization will be like child's play with the three of us. So that's where Sora comes in. Of course. He wants to see Namine, so why don't we just give him what he wants? Rejoice, Namine. The time is near for you to meet the hero that you've been longing for. You better not do anything to betray Sora's feelings. Do you understand me, little one? I understand. All you need do is layer Sora's memories and bring his heart closer to you. Sora. Even if you come for me, what then? Oh, Riku! You'll hurt Naminé if you go further. Oh. You still want to fight? But Vexen's gone, so now you're free! It doesn't matter what happens to him. I'm protecting Naminé from you. That's what's in my heart. Sora, I made a promise to Naminé. I promised to keep her safe. You did? There was a meteor shower. This one night when she and I were little. <sighs> Naminé got scared and said, what if a shooting star hits the islands? So I told her, if a shooting star comes this way, I will protect you. You made a promise! With a toy sword! What? How do you know about that? Because that was the promise I made to her that night. I would protect her. I said it. Don't lie! You weren't the one there that night! You're the one who wasn't there! That was when... She gave her good luck charm to me! Her what? See? Tell me... Where did you get that? Sora... Good try. Huh? That must be a fake! I've got the real one right here! Two of them? Fake should be destroyed! So as you can see, Riku has the exact same memory we did, and he even has another good luck charm from Namine that she gave to us, but there's no way there can be two of them, so obviously one of them does have to be fake. And of course, that means we have to fight Riku for the third time, 
and he's still persistent about it. He goes down still as easily as he did the first two times if you have the same strategy. You just stun him with Strike Raid, well I guess that's optional, but just spam Sonic Blade at him for like pretty much the whole time and you'll do well. But as you can see, he is really, really, really persistent in making us not go any further. Just because he feels like if we got in the way then there's like, you know, we just be ruining it for him and nominate ultimately, but at the same time, we can't really buy that considering we mean that's all that's the only attitude he's had the entire time we've met him. And he, I don't know why he just keeps refusing to because he's not thinking the right way clearly. Um but in all honesty, he is still not that difficult. Just use the slates that you come to know and love, like Sonic Blade, Lethal Flame, or anything else that you've been using that's been helping at this point. And I know I've just like brutally fucking murdered him, but that's the end of Riku 3. This time for beating him, we actually get ourselves a very neat card, a Mega Potion, which replaces the High Potion, pretty much. And yes, you did see we got another level up, so for level 44, we're gonna go level up our CP yet again. And trust me, I'm only gonna level up my HP probably only one or two more times for the rest of this game, because between 200 and 300 is at most what you're gonna need for health in this game. Riku! Uh-huh. I said that nominate the Yachtrum. It's just like mine. How'd he get this? <laughs> It turned into a card! And it turns out Riku's was the fake one the entire time, and we have the Destiny Islands card. Isn't that interesting? That's actually going to be our next world card. Now, before... I'm just going to say this now. You are going to need to be prepared to be prepared for what's going to happen in this next part of the game. I will say, if there's absolutely anything else that you need to do... I know I said this for the end of... for like the start of, of Floor 11... I'm saying this as a reminder, starting now, you do re you really want to just do anything that you can because we are going to have some, not not any points of no return, but this game is about to get a little different for play-wise, just to make a note of that. What do they have to say? So you and Riku have the same memory? Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty fishy. Riku's good luck charm turned into a card? Yeah, it's pretty weird. Like, where did he get that then? That's the thing. I mean, we've had the good luck charm the whole time, and he's just randomly pulled it out of nowhere. Where the hell did I did he get that? It's obviously not real. It turned into a card, but we're just gonna have to keep going forward and be aware that starting once we leave, once we start leaving up this staircase, things are about to get just things are about to get real, and things are gonna change a lot. And well, we have some really interesting cutscenes to watch next, so let's watch them. I don't understand what's going on. Let's just keep moving, okay? It doesn't matter. It does matter. How can two of you have the same memory? You can't both be right. I'm wrong. Fine, then don't believe me. That's not what he meant. We're just kind of worried. Then let's ask Naminé. That should clear it up. Look, we don't have time to sit around, so let's go! Sora, what happened to you? What's that mean? Well, you always get real touchy when it comes to stuff about Naminé. But before we came to this castle, you didn't even remember what her name was. Now Naminé's the only thing you talk about. 
It doesn't make sense. Maybe you should just slow down and think ahead about some of these things. Think ahead? What is the matter with you guys? You want me to abandon her? No, that's not it. Then do whatever you want. You can lay back and take a nap for all I care. I'm going to find Naminé. Sarah! You're all that he's got left. So then, if you don't stop this, no one will. But I... it's too late. You shouldn't give up just yet. Say, Naminé, have you noticed... Marluxia doesn't seem to be around. What are you... saying? Just that there's no one here who would want to get in your way. <laughs> Just make it count. Now this... should be interesting. Try and make it enjoyable, Sora. It's the least you can do for me, you know. <laughs> hey, wait. I'm enjoying this. You guys are something else. Sora, that was no way to keep it to yourself. So a lot has just happened in those last few minutes. As you can see right now, the only Goofy are no longer with us. And the thing that's kind of dumb, I'll just show you. If you try to go back down, they are nowhere to be found. You could go all the way around the castle starting now. You will not have Donald and Goofy with you, so n now I just hope that you are okay with this. If you didn't know what was going to happen while well, I warned you ahead of time, now we are on our own for the next part of the game. And as you saw earlier, Naminé is actually going to try to make her way down to us from the top of the castle, so there's a good chance we're actually going to end up bumping into her along like the next floor or so. So... I do realize, again, a little bit of a short episode, at least compared to last episode. But I think I'll end it off here because next time is going to be pretty interesting as well. So, I have been Miss Master 1. Thank you guys for watching. This has been episode 20... What has it been? 27 of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. And I'll see you guys in episode 28 for where we begin our 12th world, Destiny Islands, with that card that we got last time. I have been Miss Master 1. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.